Now, I'm shooting a video. I'll, I'll open in a few minutes. So, hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Wendy. You can also call me Mama Dina. And yeah, welcome back. So today we'll actually just do a sit down video. As you can see, I'm seated on my bed, and I wanted to just do a quick um video which is like a cycling for dummies like a beginner friendly like what you need to start because i think when i started we didn't have that so if you're new to my channel first of all make sure you subscribe to this channel hit the bell button to get notified anytime i do post a video i also create content on motherhood and lifestyle but recently i just started cycling it's not recent it's like maybe i've been cycling for like two years now and i realized there's a gap in information especially in Kenya, there's very little information on this scene. So I just wanted to incorporate that in my channel and hopefully you guys will appreciate whether it's for you, your friends, whoever. I hope this video helps. So let's just start from the top. So once you just think about cycling is like a very good um, workout um, sport. I, for me, when I started cycling, the reason I chose cycling... Okay, I didn't even per se choose cycling. I didn't have options. Like, I didn't think, at the, let me see, out of all these things I can do, let me pick this one. No. I'd seen a friend of mine cycling with a certain group, and they were doing, like, crazy, like, kilometers. They were going to Naivasha and back, and I was just like, wait, what? How? So they were doing so many kilometers and things like that, and I'd just be like, hey, how are these guys doing it? And I was just like, I would love to join, I'd love to join. And I said that for almost a year. I think I started saying that in February of 2021. And I started cycling in <laughs> September of 2021. So what happened was one of my friends got a job out of Nairobi and I thought this is time for me to just choose something different because we had been very close with this friend of mine. And I remember feeling like, okay, now when this person leaves, there'll be such a huge gap to fill. Like, what am I going to be doing on weekends and things like that? And I didn't want to just continue with, like, partying and whatnot. I wanted to find something else. I was, like, I was in the mood for adventure. So when I saw that, I was just, like, I have a bicycle. I could join this group. So my friend had told me they had beginner rides on Saturdays. And so I packed my bike one morning, drove there, and that's how I started cycling. So a lot of my information is based on my experience. It's not facts, I <laughs> say. It's more what I've experienced, what's comfortable for me, and what works for me now. In the next few years, things might change, but as of now, this is what works, and this is what um, this is what I've seen is important, especially when you start. So first things first, you need a bicycle. And if you're here and this you you're actually seeking this information then i think the best thing to tell you is a what the best beginner bike is a mountain bike so we, so we have mountain bikes that are very beginner friendly that's most of us know mountain bikes that's what our parents bought for us when we were children and things like that there's road bikes that's what i ride mostly that's good for mountain bikes are good for off roads very good not good they are for off roads if you do off roads it's mountain bike um road bikes are for tarmac you can't go where there's rough road or anything it's good for speed that's what you see at Tour de France when you look at the cycling competitions those are road bikes there's hybrid bikes there's um there's another one I'm forgetting hybrid and what therefore if I remember I'll just put them here but yeah it just determines it, it uh the type of bike matters with why you need it there's even town city bikes things like that if you want to commute things like that so depending on your like why you want to start cycling it's important to do your research on the scene but the best beginner beginner bike like if you're a complete beginner you're, you've just the last time you cycled when you are a baby and then now you want to do it now mountain bikes are it in kenya you can get maybe from around thirty thousand plus that's my opinion. Um, I don't think you should break the bank to buy your first bike because what if you don't like the sport? I was lucky we had a, we had two bikes at home. We had a road bike and we had a mountain bike. And that was because when COVID started, we thought we should do something. My dad was like, let's just buy so we guys can 
have. Oh, someone's coming. A few moments later. <laughs> yeah, I had to go out a bit. Um, I was giving my friend his bike. Uh, it rained the other day, so they left their bikes here. Yeah, we'll talk about that. Um, so I was saying bicycles are take, uh, a good bicycle, a good beginner bicycle, maybe XUK could be 30k plus, and not supermarket bikes. No shade to supermarkets, but yeah, not supermarket bikes. Um, a brand new bike, I don't know. But it's K around 30. If your budget is less than 30, to be honest, do not feel like you can't join. Yeah. If your budget is less than 30K, do not feel like you cannot start cycling. Honestly, get whatever you can afford. The point is just to encourage you to start cycling. And you'll build and grow as you, as we continue. You'll find people who buy bikes at 15,000 and they're still with us and they do it and they're still strong. Like it won't change that big of a deal. But if you can afford something better, well and good. If you can, if you feel like you don't mind spending 30k plus on a bicycle, well, that's good. Um, I will post a link down here of shops within Nairobi, I believe, um, that sell bikes. Then you can be able to check there. And it's also... One thing about bikes that I didn't know is you service them. <laughs> Bike maintenance, maintenance is such a big deal. It's literally like your car. You take care of it. When I started, I was like, I want a cheap sport. I wanted something, you know. But it's not cheap. <laughs> it's like maintenance, like washing. They say a clean bike is a fast bike. It's, it's crazy. There's all these things. You need to have extra tubes. You need to have... Lights, these things don't even come with the bikes. The ones that come with the bikes, the supermarkets, and useless. So you need to buy lights, front and rear lights. You need to, they're called blinkers. You need to get, um, what else? Like lube for the bike. You need probably, if you want to wash your bike at home, some people even have like wash, like soap and things for the bike. As it's a whole thing. It's crazy. But I love it. And I'm growing in it pole pole. I don't even have lights. So that's something I'm actually working on. I want to have, like, I want to be self-sufficient when it comes to my bike. I want to have full lights. I want to have both lights. I want to also have um, a puncture repair kit because that's important. I also want to be able to have a saddlebag that I can throw in um, a, a tube just in case anything happens. Like, you need to be prepared for these things. But, yeah, basically that's what I didn't know about bicycles. But I hope that's um, that's covered, and I hope I've done it. I've done justice to it. So point number two is the cycling kits. So when I started, I had no idea. Me, I had no one to guide me in the beginning. So I just got in and just started. I didn't have any friends who were doing this before. So and I had not even done research about it. Me, nearly end up too. So I just had my normal gym pants and a t-shirt, a gym shirt. And I hel uh, luckily I had a helmet. One thing about us, no helmet, no rides. So you have to have a helmet. People, our, our sport is risky, so you can have accidents. So to prevent that, we really just need to make sure that we have helmets. So when it comes to the kit, to this kit. So my kit is by Five, Star, Five Stars Africa. It's a Kenyan brand. They design amazing kits they have all sorts of designs and i'll put the link down below so you guys can check them out and yeah see if you can budget for a pair or two or three whatever support 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 the enemy is the economy <laughs> it's not our friends but anyway so when it comes to cycling kits you need the first thing i always i i believe is very important is um padded pants this so I basically wear shorts. I don't like full pants. Just just a preference. Nothing um nothing about it. So you need pants that are padded. Like this is yeah, padding to help secure your private so that um you don't get hurt. Because actually, even with padded pants, especially on long rides, you could feel the pain. It could be very painful, um, especially when you're done and things like that. I will tell you guys a story about the same. Um, yeah, my experience with, um, they call them saddle toes. Yeah, my experience with that, it's insane. But you do need padded pants or a bib short. 
So these ones are padded pants. You can see it's a, just a short with a padding. The one I'm wearing is a bib short. Bib short because of this. So it's a, let me show you. This is it. It's a short. And then it's like this. It's also padded front and back. And um, front to back, back to front, yeah. And this. And yeah, basically that's that. So my opinion in this, I prefer bib short, bibs, bib shorts as opposed to this because of um i've been getting some some beautiful weight <laughs> so with the weight gain i struggle with this because of my tummy it could press on your tummy a bit um much so you end up feeling a bit uncomfortable but it's not something that would make you not enjoy your ride but it's just a bit of discomfort so sometimes when you're in like long rides you want to be as comfortable as possible like least resistance possible so yeah so in my opinion i prefer bib to this ones but whatever you, you choose that's on you just make sure you get um something good and make sure the padding is very great um ideally if you get <laughs> The prices vary and re, uh, from for brand new ones. My first pair of shorts, I got them from Decathlon, but they didn't last me too long. They lasted me maybe... I probably tried to push them for like a year. But after that, I'm, I'm not too confident using them. Um, no offense to the shop that sells them. <laughs> but yeah, that is just my opinion and just how I feel. I feel like it didn't last me long enough. But the price was 3k for the shorts only. So from 3k Quendelea is when you can get um for the shorts. And that is locally. Yeah, locally. You can check online, you can check five stars and look at their rates and see if yeah, but of importance is um your preference in terms of if you prefer thrifted or new if you don't mind thrifted thrifted you'd get from around 500 800 bob depending on who's selling and where i've not actually gone out to like gikomba or places where i can't get them like way cheaper i just get someone who sells them and i just tell them to send to me but yeah in the beginning i started with thrifted i did not mind i just made sure they are well they are cleaned and whatnot and i just got myself um thrifted but as i'm growing i want to look good i feel like if you're out for aesthetics brand new kits are way way better like hands down like you just need to go online and see the difference so yeah that's that then you need a jersey after you had your shorts you need a jersey or oh, also it's important to note that when you're wearing your shorts you don't need you should not wear underwear it's recommended that you don't wear your panties girl yeah just protect down there don't wear your panties um this is a jersey just like the one i have so jerseys are very many are very colorful a lot of cycling kits come with um already branded like uh different brands different companies but they they a lot of them are very shouting you rarely get plain jerseys and it's because you need to be visible on the road. So the brighter the better. Especially if you cycle in the evenings, it's good to yeah. Ideally, most jerseys have three pockets at the back. I hope you guys can see. Three at the back. You can put your phone, your snacks, you can put um anything. Anything you think can fit here and you need for the ride. You can just throw them back here. Unfortunately, Nairobi, we kind of sometimes stopped, we kind of stopped doing it, especially when you're on solo rides or smaller groups, because we started experiencing robberies. They started stealing from us. So when you put your phone here, they just pick it and go with it. And we don't want that. So you find ways of being smart about it. But ideally, this is meant for such things. If you have snacks, if you have those gels, especially competitions and long rides, if you have gels and you use them, this is where you put them. Yeah. So that's that when it comes to jerseys and um, cycling shorts, cycling pants, whatever you want to call them. Um, let's do. So there's things called arm warmers. I don't own any. 
yet because I don't like feeling hot at all. <laughs> I hate feeling hot. I can't stand the heat. So I'm not, I don't wear armor mask. People also wear them to prevent sunburns. Honestly, I'd rather have sunburn. I'll, I'll use sunscreen and not wear an armor But sometimes when it's very cold, like of late it's been very cold, you can have them. It's just like a sleeve. It's a sleeve actually. You just put it put it underneath and then you're able to protect your hands and your legs. There's also leg warmers for the same. A lot of people would cycle even in tights, put tights underneath the the bib shorts and the cycling pants so they can just protect their skin and their body from sunburns and whatever. Because honestly, being outside for long, it will do wonders to your skin. Wonders in not the good way, in the opposite direction. So yeah, there's arm warmers, there's leg warmers if you can get them. We also have um, gloves. I don't know where mine are. I, just, I thought I had some to show you. But yeah, you can wear gloves. There's full gloves. <laughs> as I did and full coverage. Full coverage gloves where they cover till your fingers. Um, it's good for cold season. But I don't have any a pair. I like um, the half ones just for grip. And yeah, to protect me in case I fall. But mostly for grip. That's just uh, my preference. And also I have long nails. So I might come today, my nails are longer. I might hurt. I don't know. I don't use um, those ones. So when it comes to the cycling kit, I think we're done. You can wear socks. We prefer socks that are not the ankle socks, the longer ones. And honestly, it's your preference. Some of the kids come with socks, some come without. To each their own, honestly, at this point. As long as the most important thing are... The, the the shorts the or pants and the jersey you ain't to new rainbow aesthetics um finally let's go to the shoes when you're starting you really don't need to buy the proper cycling shoes in fact it might take you a year or so even before you want to make the shift because it's normally like a milestone it's like a big deal like when you do it they're like oh my god you're now clippy we're so proud of you this is amazing da -da -da -da. Where did that it's crazy. Um, I, so ideally, a cycling shoe, mine are downstairs in there. I've watched them, but I'll, 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 I'll clip a video here. Um, it has at the bottom, there's a, a cleat. We call them a cleat. And then your bicycle pedals are not the normal pedals. It's supposed to be a match to the cleat. So when you put it, it fits perfectly like this. So then your legs are held to the bike. When you are about to stop, you have to unclip, unclip, and then remove your leg, and then stop. If you forget to unclip, you'll just fall like a cartoon. It's normally hilarious. If I ever, if any of my friends ever start that clipping journey, I'll record it and show you guys. It's hilarious. It's just stopped here. But and people don't get hurt by the way because you don't you don't fall when you're in motion. You fall because you've stopped and you've forgotten to unclip. So no pain. Um, uh, without so clipping shoes aside, uh, you need to just have sport shoes, good sport shoes that you can ride your bike with. There's no pressure. Don't feel the need to get I don't know which shoes. Nah, nah, just shoes you have at home that you'll probably go in a, go for a run with. I I cycled with my shoes for so long for like almost a year. I think I think I did a year. And my friend is the one who was just like clip now you become so good clip 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 and once i clipped i never went back <laughs> but i haven't changed my mountain bike uh, pedals maybe that one will take time but also i'm not big on mountain and cycling on my mountain bike i'm not an off-road fan i like on road yeah basically that's that so cycling beginner i in my opinion i don't think you need to go all out i think just get what you can and slowly build on it you will learn so much people have so much to give but also there's a lot of people trying to con you in, with um stuff which is just like any other industry and any other thing where you're new in you need to just tread carefully and also just take time to learn things on your own but there are so many bike brands in Kenya. There are so many people selling bikes. The community is so big and so welcoming to people. And I'd really, really recommend you to do it. Um, I started my own cycling group called Bicycle Safaris. And Bicycle Safaris is 
is my passion project. It's my baby because I don't even like it's not even something I don't know. I love my skills. Let me let me put it like this. I started by skilly safari with my friend because I loved traveling. And all my life I thought I want to travel when I grow older. I want to travel, I want to travel. And when you grow older, it's like reality hits you and it's like it's not cheap. But then when I started cycling, we went to Arusha and I did Namanga. These are places I'd never visited before um cycling. So I went there on a bicycle and it was so affordable. And I was like, wait, we can travel this, like we can make it this affordable. So that's how I started. Like when the groups I was in stopped doing tours or just died, I started my own and we do tours. We've gone to Naivasha severally. We've done, um, sorry, one second. Then. So basically Safaris has done Naivasha. We've done Gilgil, we've done Sagana. We've done Embu. We're planning for Mombasa, Malindi, a coast tour. It's gonna, be, it's massive. It's crazy. This one is one of my biggest personal goals, and I hope to be able to document it on my other social media platforms, especially TikTok, and like my, the training. But the actual videos and everything, I will be doing them here, like the days, how my days are, how I start, how the challenges, everything. Everything on the road, I am going to document it on this YouTube channel. And I'm super, super excited. We're going to be doing the coast tour in October. Um, next weekend, I should be going to Nyeri with my friends. Um, if I do go, I'll be able to vlog that experience and just bring you guys and see how it happened. Because this is a thing. I was never as a, like a fit person before this. I just started. And like five years ago, no, people will tell you when you'll be the one of the most fit people at I'm here talking about working out and things like that. But life changes and people evolve and that's just where I'm at right now. It's like fitness has become such a huge part of me. The goal with this, we'll talk about it in as we continue with the vlogs. But with that, I want to just say thank you for watching this video till here, till the end. I will post every Monday and, th and Friday. Uh, every Monday and Friday, you get videos from me at 10 a.m. So please check, make sure to always check the videos out. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll be back with another video. Bye!